Hey, Michael with X-Force PC here. Forgive me, I'm feeling a little bit lazy. I'm not hooking up my microphone for this video. I'm using the microphone and the camera. Let's say you just installed another hard drive in your computer. That might be an SSD, it could be an M.2, it could be a SATA drive, you know, whatever it might be. And you go and you open up this PC, which used to be called My Computer, and you don't see it. You see here, we only see a C drive. It's like, where's the second SSD I just installed? Well, it's not going to show up until you partition and format it, which sounds like a very fancy thing, but it really isn't. You just go down here to the, start, uh, to the search box and type the word computer until you see computer management pop up. And you can see computer management there. I'll zoom in just a little bit. You open that up. And in computer management, you know, don't mess with things if you don't know what they are, but we're going to go down to disk management. And as soon as I click on it, it's going to realize there's a drive in here that has no partitions on it, and it's going to prompt me. It says, look, there's disk zero. It needs to be initialized. And in almost all cases, you want to pick GPT, which is um, the latest format. Uh, master Boot Record is kind of a legacy thing and is size limited off the top of my head. I don't know what the size limit is, but GPT is what you're almost always going to want to choose here, and that's what it defaults to. I just hit OK, and we see here now disk zero um, went from being uninitialized to online. Like, OK, cool, let me go look at my computer here and see, well, nope, it's still not there. All I have is a C drive. Why is that? Well, it's unallocated space. So now we have a drive in the system. The system sees it, but it's unallocated space. You simply right click on it and click New Simple Volume. And just keep, if you just want the whole thing formatted as one big drive, you just keep it next. Assign it a drive letter. For me, I like, if it's a secondary storage drive, I like to give it the drive letter of S for storage. But you can give it whatever drive letter you want. And then you can give it a name. So you, I usually will put something like 4TB, uh, let's see, this is an SSD. So that's what I'm going to name it, 4 terabyte SSD, just so the customer kind of knows what this is. You can, you can make this say anything you want. Go ahead and perform just a quick format. There's no reason to not do a quick format. I would not enable file and folder compression. And then finish. And you see it's formatted now. We just got a pop-up saying we have a drive S. And you can see here, drive letter S. And now if I go and I look at my computer or this PC, you see now we have a S drive that's four terabytes. Now don't go yet. If this, saw, if this solved your issue, great. But if it didn't, there's another possible reason why your drive isn't showing up. Let's say you do go to computer management and your drive isn't there. You've hooked it up. It should be working as far as you know, but you don't see it here. It's in the computer, plugged in, powered on, but you don't see it. Bear in mind that on some motherboards, when you use an M.2 SSD, if you don't know what that is, Google it, it can disable some of the SATA ports. In other words, on this particular uh, motherboard that I'm using in here, there's six SATA ports. But if I have an M.2 SSD in, in both M.2 slots, SATA 5 and 6 get disabled. I can still plug a drive into SATA 1, SATA 2, SATA 3, or SATA 4. So check your motherboard's manual and make sure that some resource didn't get disabled by something else being installed in the computer. Again, lots of times when you install an M.2 SSD, it causes some of the SATA ports to become disabled.